So I learned about Cherry's passing this morning. Um, about half hour after she passed, I got a text message from Bart Starr Jr. notifying me of um, the occurrence. I knew that she was she was sick and that uh, she'd been in a lot of pain for a while. In fact, I was supposed to be on a 615 flight to Birmingham uh, this morning to see her, but uh, Bart called last night and said um, to uh, you know, we needed to cancel the trip because she was not doing well at all. And so, so she's been she's been sick for a while. Um, the wonderful thing about Cherry is, um, even though in a lot of pain, she was battling multiple different cancers. She, you never heard her complain, and she would uh, she was in a lot of pain a lot of time, but she'd still have that smile on her face and give you all the attention and 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 not let you know how she was really the the pain the physical pain that she was in she she could melt your heart i mean she the the smile on her face the twinkle in her eye um you felt when you were in her presence as if there was nobody else in the world but you and her and that she made you feel like you're the celebrity instead of she's the celebrity and she had, you know, with her with her smile, she also had such a great sense of humor. And she loved telling jokes and she loved doing things, you know, to people and playfully with 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 individuals from a humor standpoint. And she she just she just embodied love and care and all the things that we aspire to be. She lived her life like that. The, the younger generation doesn't know as much about them um, from their, you know, from Bart's playing days or about them in the press. They know about Cherry from her presence here on campus and for the impact they've had at Rawhide. So um, a year ago, we actually built a new youth home named after Bart and Cherry Star. Cherry actually helped design it. And so their memories of Cherry are going to be when she comes on campus. Last time was in the fall of last year, and she said it was gonna be her last time here. And, you know, there wasn't press out for it. There weren't a lot of, you know, videos taken of it. It was all going into the homes and spending time with the youth. And so they know her, I'm gonna say as like a great grandma. Um, and how sweet it was when she walked through the homes, when she walked through every classroom, she would address and go greet every single boy that was on campus and look them in the eye and squeeze their cheeks and ask them how they're doing and where they're from and what they're learning. And, and so she would, she would have that presence. So they would know Cherry by Cherry the person, not Cherry the spouse of a great football star. And um, so I think that's that's kind of the unique thing. She also, um, every year she would um, give Christmas presents to the boys. And so, you know, it, it may be different things. One year it was a signed football by all the current players. Another year it was a Green Bay Packers hat or gloves or I think last year was a tin, the Green Bay Packer tin with popcorn. But so they would know her from, okay, Cherry sent a Christmas present. Um, but that's how they would know her. It, it's fair to say that if the stars were not involved in Rawhide, we probably wouldn't be around today. Their, their history and Rawhide's history is so intertwined. And the great thing about it, it's not just money they raised or publicity. For 60 years, almost 60 years, they have been coming, spending time on the campus with the youth, with the staff, and that's the impact that they're going to have. And what I can tell you is their heart is really here. You know, when they talk about Rawhide, when they talk about the impact of the youth, they are really concerned about how do we help these youth. One of the testaments that I think, you know, Cherry could have had an autobiography over the years, and she chose not to ever do that. And she actually wanted her legacy to be here. So in May, we're going to be opening a Barton Cherry Star Museum. And it's going to be her story of her life and Bart's life, not just as a great football player, 
not just as somebody that everybody knows, but the humble beginnings they came from and their love story and raising a family through great times and tragedy of losing a son and their impact on, on the communities. And they're going to have very personal things in there. And so Cherry wanted this museum to be her autobiography. And so she's been involved in every step of the way from personal artifacts to stories. And she said to me, my hope is that every youth that comes in contact with Rawhide, when they go through the museum, they will be inspired. And they'll be inspired to, they, they too can lead a good life. You don't have to come from money. You, you're going to have obstacles in your life. But here's the values you can live so that they can feel hope that they can live a life well lived. And that's really what her dream of is a longer lasting legacy. So not just what they've done in the past, in the past, but I think even the future, they're going to be entwined. And then the family is still involved. So it's intergenerational. So we've Bart Jr. is heavily involved in Rawhide. When he comes to Green Bay, he'll just stop by and spend time with the youth. Some of the grandkids are involved with Rawhide. And so we're seeing the generational impact that that's happening with the Star family continue here into the future. I, I think the one thing that, as I always think about Cherry, is her, her personality of she gives unconditional love to everybody that she meets whether it's some famous person or somebody on the street, she treats them all the same. And that you, you talked about that, that winning smile and that love and care and concern. And she's the real deal. And Bart was the real deal. They're the same people that you see in the headlines and the same people behind the scenes. And I got the opportunity to spend a lot of time with Cherry and I cherish those moments, and she is exactly who she presents herself to be.